Hi everyone, I'm Becky and here on this channel we like to focus on being really environmentally conscious and not over buying and over consuming everything but instead really just loving what you have and getting the most out of what you have and knowing that when you do purchase something it's actually something new and good and exciting going to add value to your life instead of just adding to your material wealth because we don't need to do that and in that vein i wanted to talk about kind of an idealized makeup collection um hippocampus is quite excited about it as well do you want to put your whole face on camera or just ooh? He said you don't need to see his whole face, just know it's there. Um, so, I don't know, four or five videos ago, I made a video about what would be my ideal makeup collection by the numbers. So how many of each item, do I have, that's sexy, yes, love that. How many of each makeup item would I own in an ideal world? How many do I think would give me enough variety, making sure that I can get all the looks that I want, feel fabulous, but not over consume? and not have so much that I can never, ever in a million years use it up. So today, I've gone through my current makeup collection and I've said, all right, if I had to declutter everything and get down to this number, what would it, what would it look like? What would I keep today at this moment? And this is not buying anything because some items I'm like, well, these may not be my top 10 favorite eyeliners. I might actually would rather get rid of some of these and buy some new ones, but that's not the point. The point is, of what I have today, what would I keep? Um, and it's something I'm kind of like just exploring and thinking about because in about 14 months, John and I are gonna be moving. Um, I'll be graduating with my PhD next May. So do I wanna do that? Do I wanna declutter to where I'm down to this ideal makeup collection? I don't know. I don't think so, but it's just something to, you know, to play with. And I don't know, I think it's kind of exciting and hopefully you also agree and think it's exciting. So let's go ahead and just get into it. So I said I want to have one concealer. I only have one concealer at the moment. It's the Makeup Forever, or I always say that. It's the Revolution Beauty um, Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. It's not great. I don't love it. Um, you know, if this was like, you know, my top 10 or like my holy grail products, this would not be it. But it's the one I own right now. So if I could only have one, you know, if I did declutter everything and only have one concealer, it would be the one concealer I already own. So there you go. For powder, I would choose the Guerlain Meteorites because I love this as a finishing powder. I just do. I think it does so much. It's really pretty. Excuse me. It adds just a little bit of like, hey, really cuteness. Um, that was, that sounded so dumb. It, it like melds your makeup together, gives you like just a little bit of, not shimmer or sheen, but just like a little bit of life in your skin. I really love it. So I'd keep that and I'd also keep the Cody Airspun Powder, partially because this will last me probably at least 50, you know, 50 more years. Um, it, there's so much product in it, but this powder really does a nice job of sealing in anything I need to be sealed in adding the very, very faintest amount of coverage, but nothing else, you know? Um, but not looking cakey or powdery, it just, I love it. Um, I wouldn't have a foundation, I'm not wearing foundation today, I don't really wear a foundation. Some of these items, um, some like items in a normal makeup collection, I'm not even gonna talk about. I'm not gonna talk about primer, I don't need any primers, and I'm not gonna talk about bronzers. I don't wear bronzer very much. I don't, it's fine, it doesn't make me happy. I, you know, today I have no bronzer on and I, I really like the look I have today. So, there you go. Eye bases. I could have, my ideal was six. So, I chose six. First and foremost, I have the two, uh, not the two faced. What? I need to like, I don't know what's going on with me and words today, but they're not, they're not, we're not friends. So, this is the NYX glitter glue. I love this. I like to wear it when I want to wear any pigments or anything that's extra shimmery because this just gives me that extra little boost. Love that. Then I have two Mally Shadow Sticks. I really like Shadow Sticks um, and I really like the Mally brand. So, I would keep this shade, which is Thistle, which is like a nice matte taupey purple. I like to pull it in for a lot of cool tone looks. It's a great base. I use bases all the time, almost every day. And then this is the shade Soft Violet. It is really similar, and I can see that. 
and maybe if I, you know, if I had something else, I might choose something else, but I do, I don't really like both of them. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I, I just like them. Then I have this, which is kind of a cheating product, but I'm counting it. It's a liquid eyeshadow. It's the e.l.f. Aqua Eyes eyeshadow in the shade like molten gold, liquid gold. And it is a beautiful yellow gold. I can use this as a base, but I can also use this as a liquid eyeshadow over something to just give you like a bit of pow and fabulous. So I think that's good. If I was going to try to get down to this like smaller ideal makeup collection numbers, I would want to have things I can use multiple ways. All right, we're out of coffee. Next, I actually have this on today. Not that you can really tell, but trust me, it is. This is the NARS Velvet Shadow Stick in the shade Grand Largo. I always want to say Grand Largo, but it's not. Grand Large. That's a dumb name. Maybe I'm, I'm misreading it, but that's what it looks like. It's this beautiful bright blue. It is a great base. It really blends out nicely. I So before I put on this Stila Glitter and Glow, I had this purple on and this uh, kind of blended out on my eyes eyelid and I thought I'm done I don't need to do anything else and then I did I did a little bit of extra because you know that's kind of how I do things but this is really nice I do really like it and I recommend it and if I could only keep six of my eyeshadow bases this would be one of them and last um, I wanted to choose one that was kind of like a nudie white that kind of shade <coughs> and so I went with this Ello. do I have oh my god Y'all, I'm just getting lipstick everywhere. Oh well, you know. Um, this LOC Out of Your Shell lipstick, or not lipstick, eyeshadow, because this is a really nice kind of, not quite white, but like a very pale nude. Very fair shade. So that works for me. Um, I would, you know, maybe be interested in trying concealer as an eyeshadow base. Um, and kind of double using a product that way. I've tried this concealer as an eyeshadow base and I hate it. But maybe another one if I had another concealer. So, there you go. Eyeshadow. This was the hardest one. Without a doubt, this was the hardest one. Um, because my goal number is 100 eyeshadows. And I tried to, you know, really think about it. But if I have a palette with 40 eyeshadows in it, that counts. You can't, I don't get to pick and choose out shades of a palette. That's cheating. So let me show you what I got. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. I love this palette. I feel like nobody else does and that's fine, but these shimmers are so good. They're so fabulous, so impactful. I love it. I love this pink. I love these purples. I love it. You know, you'll see as we go through this, there are some shades that like are kind of a repeat, which is why I want to get towards that um, single eyeshadow line because I don't, I mean, there's another shade that's really similar to this in another palette, but because I want other shades in that palette, I got to take both. So, you know, that's part of why I want to move towards buying single shadows and not palettes because I don't necessarily want all of the shades in that palette. Next, we have the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette. I love this palette. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I wear this palette all the time. I have this shade, which is Delete. Yep, that's the shade in my brows today. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I don't have any other shades on today, but I like every single one of these shades. I use every single one of these shades. I can create really fun looks with every single one of these shades. It's 20 eyeshadows, and they're worth all 20. You know, if I was to use up this one, which is, you know, in my project pan right now, I just hit myself in the face. Um, then this would only be 19, and that'd be great, but I think it would still probably be worthy of the 19. I don't know. Next, I have the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I love this palette. I do. I think it's so good. Um, these purples are so fabulous. This green shows up green. This yellow actually shows up. This pink is just, it's everything. I Obviously, I love all of these things. That's why I put them in. The Line Crime Venus 3 palette. This palette is the palette I wore on my wedding day. So there's some sentimental value to that without a doubt. 
but also these shades are so beautiful with a glitter glue these two are fabulous without a glitter glue they kind of suck use a glitter glue this purple so beautiful not the purple i have on today today i have on a blush actually it didn't get chosen um this is the sephora pantone universe rush luster cheek sweep I, this was close this was a close contender um but i love i have this blush on in my crease and then i have this highlighter on there you go so um but I could have used this shade and I just love this palette. And like I said, it's the palette I wore on my wedding day. So obviously that, that's something. I have the Magic Mini by Juvia's Place. This is the only Juvia's Place palette I had. Now, and I'm not naive to the fact that these are two, these two are, I bought three palettes. I'm trying to say this correctly. I bought three palettes last year. These are two of the three. The other, the third one's not in here, but I don't know if that's, some of this is just like novelty, but I don't think so. I think they're just really good. I love this palette. Now, I almost didn't include this palette because I hate these two shades. And this third one right here, I don't love it. These two I, I really hate. And I was like, do I really want to take up two of my shades? But the rest of them are just so good that I said, yeah, I'm going to do it. I wore this all over the lid yesterday. Or, um, yeah, yesterday. This was like everywhere and then I had like a, um, a goldy pinky pigment it didn't do what I wanted the pigment wasn't as great but I wore this everywhere and it looked fluorescent it was fabulous nothing else um, nothing like anything else I have in my collection I love this duochrome these shimmers are so ridiculous um, you know like I said if I if I had singles this very warm tone brown is very similar to this warm tone brown. You know, I wouldn't necessarily keep both of those shades if I could only have a hundred shades, but because I want this palette, that's what has to happen. And you know, these two. So again, that's just kind of why I'm thinking that whenever I do purchase more makeup, it'll be singles and not palettes because of things like that. But for right now, this is just great. And then a classic, a classic, and it's so, hyped and it's not overrated at all it's the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca Remix palette truly this is everything I need and truly I mix these shades up all the time and I love it and I love what I come out with and I know people have decluttered and said theirs have gone bad maybe I'm in denial but I think my quality is still pretty good and it's working and as long as it works I'm keeping it because I love it so yeah this would be worth the 24 shades no questions asked. And then I have one, two, three, four. I have eight singles and pigments and things that I decided to keep. Um, I think these are the correct eight, but I don't know. First, I have the ColourPop Saved Pink. I love this. I love this so much. It is the most obnoxious, bright pink, shimmer, disgusting, beautiful, perfect shadow in the world. I love it. Like, if you had to say, can you describe yourself in one eyeshadow, I would just put this one. This is the one I choose. I love it so much. It's called Slave to Pink also, which is great. All right, and then I have this, which I debated because there is a silver in the electric palette. You know, some of these were kind of hard, and I'm going to be honest, some of it, it was just like, I've got four shades left. I don't have like a palette that I can choose. So, you know, just, just work with me here. Um, this is the H&M Infinite Eye Impact in the shade Over the Moon. Let me just, let me just swatch this for you. What? What? I know. It's beautiful. It looks like molten silver on your eyelids. It's stunning and I really like it. That's why I put it in. I really have been loving this shade too and I don't know if it's too similar to this shade I don't know maybe it is but let's let's just swatch it I never swatched them beside each other so there's also this shade which you know you could argue I don't need both of these silvers I would listen to that argument you know but again it is based on the singles and the eyeshadows that I currently own and so this is the shade sugar 
it's a ColourPop Super Shock, and I love it. It's it's just really good, and you can see it is a lot more blue than these other two silvers. It is. Do I need all three? Maybe not. Would I, if I had single eye shadows, would I choose all three of those single eye shadows? Probably not. But this is what I have, and I love it, so I'm gonna keep it. You know, if I had to, if I had to limit myself. I have this, oh my gosh, this video is going to be so long. We're going to speed up a bit. This is the NYX Roll-On Shimmer in the shade Nude. I also wore this on my wedding day. I feel like I'm just telling you how much I love all of these things, but obviously I love them because these are the ones I would choose. I would get rid of everything else. Um, I have these two glitters because they are both fabulous. It's a pink glitter and a copper glitter. They're both from MAC, and I love them. And then I have one of my Stila Glitter and Glows. This is the shade Peachy Sheen. I like it a little better than Kitten Karma. So, you know, I can't have all of them. I can only have one, and this is the one I would choose. And then I chose this MAC Dazzle Shadow in the shade Shine. Shine Delight. Because I just like it. Like, in a swatch, you're like, Becky, that cannot be one of your choices. But it, it layers so nicely over things. When you put glitter glue down and you pack this on, it's beautiful. And I love it. All right. Then I chose five blushes and five highlighters. This was challenging. Um, the reason I didn't choose that Sephora blush and highlighter palette is because I chose this four paint. And when you only get five, you can't choose two more. So this is the Lorac Unzipped palette. I have this shade unashamed on my cheeks today. Is it a lot? Yes, but it's what I like. I love these shades. This one, Unapologetic, I don't use as much, but again, it's in the palette. I use this on my wedding day. I absolutely love it. And my fifth blush is from the MAC Nutcracker Sweet Peach Face Compact. This is also my first highlighter. I love both of these products so much. So much. I think they're both so good. And if I could only keep five, those would be two of them. All right, for the rest of my highlighters, I have the Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive because I wanted a gold. This one's almost used up, not because of my usage, because it broke. But I keep it and I use it whenever I want a gold. I have the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Hippo. First of all, I have a dog named Hippo, as y'all know, and so that makes me a little biased. But also, this is like a really cool purpley pinky very cool tone highlighter which goes really great with my skin tone and i just love it i just love it so there you go the laura mercier baked highlighter in 01 it's so pretty it's so it's like a very natural highlighter very lit from within let's just put some on you see you see what i mean just so so lit from within but still still really nice that's a lot of highlighter for me but you know there you go I just think it's really pretty and then the last one this is a little much and I it might be like 40% for the packaging but hello it's so pretty this is the ColourPop um, horse and Disney designer horse and carriage highlighter it is so crazy impactful I would use this as an eyeshadow too it's very nice okay Mascara, I could only choose one. I just choose chose the one that's open. I only have one open, so it's kind of a cheat. But it's the CoverGirl So Lashy. It's not that great. Four pencil eyeliners. I could choose ten. And this is definitely one of those things where these are not necessarily the ten I would choose. Like, if I had to go to the store and buy ten, I wouldn't buy these ten. But of what I have, these are the ten I would keep. I have one, I have two Mally ones, one in hazelnut, one in shadow, so like a gray and a brown. This one I wear all the time and I love it and I would like some more that are of this shade. This one, or like of this tone, these really light pastel-y shades, I'd like a few more of those and those would fill in. So this is the Annabelle Waterline Liner in the shade Lavender, love it. Then I chose a black because I've got a gray, a brown, black. Those are just like the classics. This is a, the Modster by Arden CN liner. They don't make these anymore, but they're very good. Then I just kind of played with what I had. So I have this Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Opal. 
it's really nice and pretty. I have this gold, which I don't like. This gold and this silver. So this is a Marc Jacobs liner in the shade All That Glitters. This silver is by Cynthia Raleigh. I like both of these as an inner corner, not necessarily unlike the waterline, but they're very pretty. I have the Starlux uh, liner, Gem Pencil and Ultra Olive. This I don't like as a liner, but it's a really pretty base. And again, I get to keep 10, so I'm gonna keep everything I can. I have this blue by Makeup Forever, it's just like a nice blue, and then a purple by Sonia Kashuk. So I don't necessarily care as much about these brands, kind of, like the black, this is my favorite black one I own. But it's also the colors, and it's also, just again, based on what I had, not like if I had to go buy. None of these are necessarily if I had to go to the store today and buy them, this is what I would buy. But it's what of what I have, this is what I would keep. Then I got, I said I could have eight liquid liners. I only have seven. So that means I can buy one, which is exciting. Um, I'll go ahead and go through what I have, of course. I have this one by Hercari and Iris. It's a dark purple. I have a black by Scone, it's very nice. The rest are colors and, well I guess dark purple is a color. I have this green by NYX, it's fabulous. This red is one of my favorite, also by NYX. It's the Vivid Lights liner. This they don't make anymore, it's the Urban Decay 24-7 liquid liner in Radium, beautiful. Used it the other day. The um, Urban Decay Heavy Metal liner in ACDC, super glittery. And then the Lise Wartier uh, liner in Opal. Also very, very pretty. So there you go, that's what I would keep because that's what I have and I could keep all of them. I like that, I like that I'm within my gold. Okay, lip products. If I could only keep 10. These are the 10 I chose. First is what I have on my lips today. NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Pink Lust. It's beautiful. It's a hot pink, but it's a kind of cool tone in purple. I love it. The NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Pops to give me like a dark nude. I got two reds because you know reds are my favorite. They're my favorite. Um, so I have a red matte, which is uh, the Stila Stay All Day in the shade Beso, and then a red gloss, which is um, by Buy It Beauty in the shade Mimosa. I don't think they make these anymore, but that's fine. Um, I have a couple of purple because even though purple are way out of style, I love them. So I have this Sephora Rouge lipstick in the shade Hot Bikini. Yes, that's all I need to say about that. It's beautiful. I have this Miraness Mattify Rouge Lip Gloss in the shade Paris. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of like a nudie purple. And then I have this Marc Jacobs, oh shoot, what are these called? Lamarck Liquid Lip Crayon in the shade Plum and Get It. This, I wore it the other day and I just love it. It's like a deep wintry purple cranberry mulberry Stunning shade. And then I chose three nudes, because I'm practical. I chose a warm, like, orangey nude. This is Lorac in uh, Sevier Ferrer, or however you say it. Sevier Fairy. I don't know, John told me how to say it. It's a French name. It's from the Beauty and the Beast collection. But it's just like an orangey, warm tone nude. Then I have a, like, brownie, cool tone nude um, by Mellow in the shade Posh. And then I have a very, like, pinky nude. In the sh uh, this is also the Disney Designer Collection. It's in the shade Prince Charming. Um, and it's by ColourPop. Did I say that? If I didn't, there you go. I realize I don't own that much ColourPop makeup. I really don't. But a lot of ColourPop made it into this. And that's intriguing to me. And then, the last category, let me just crawl over, is nail polish. And this one was hard. I could, if I could only choose 20 nail polish, and part of it was hard because I like got down and I was like, these are my top 10. And then it was like, oh, I get 10 more. What would, what would I choose? I don't know. Um, so of course I have a base and a top coat. Duh. These are both by um, Vibrant Vinyls. Um, I got them from Polish Pickup. So these are, these are duh. And then a lot of these are not necessarily based on the formula, but based on the color. Some of them are based on the formula though. This. 
KB Shimmer in the shade Rose Glow. It is a holographic pink polish. It does show up opaque, of course. Gotta have that. This is a really pretty wine shade, and I like this shade a lot around Christmas and in the winter and fall. So this is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry in the shade Wind Up. But it's just really pretty. Then I have um, two, wow, two of these L'Oreal Diamond Dust polishes. They don't make these anymore, but they're fabulous. This is in the shade Sexy and Sequins, and it's like a purple, silver, orange, gold. It's really fun for Halloween, but also other times, but you know. And then this is one of my favorite fall shades. It's um, in the shade, I like it chunky. It's a beautiful orange and gold. Then, for summer, I have this pixie shade. This used to be the shade, um, I had the, is it Hot Bikini? I'm not sure, there's the shade by China Glaze that's like this neon pink and I used to get it anytime I went to the nail polish salon, I would get it that color. I love this shade. It's just fabulous. Okay, a lot of these are from Project Polish, you'll notice. I have a mint shade because I love a mint. I have another pastel. This is by Koki. Okay, this one's by Sally Hansen in the shade Mint Sorbet. Then I have this like beautiful lavender shade. This is by Koki in the shade Heavenly. This isn't necessarily about the formula, but I love these shades of colors. I also love this for summer. It's one of my favorite summer shades. This is by Sonia Kashuk in Sweet Dreams, but again, just this shade, not necessarily this formula. Another Sally Hansen, and I have a lot of these. Look at this metallic pink. It's so fun, it's very Barbie. It's in the shade Pink Satin, and I love it. You know, I just do. Um, I have one gold and one silver, because those just seem to make sense. I have this stunning Nicole by OPI gold in the shade The Next CEO. It's the best gold I own. And then this is a like holographic silver top coat, but it does get opaque, I think, eventually. I don't think I've actually used this yet, but I just I just know I want it. And it's Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend by Top Shelf Lacquer. And then we have a blue. I love this blue. This is Nicole by OPI. They don't make it anymore. I'm almost out of it. It's the, um, You're Still the One, but this is just the best blue, the best. Then I have this China Glaze in the shade Turned Up Turquoise. It's, oh, it's not showing up. It's much more teal than it's showing up on camera, but it's fabulous. It's a great summer color. The rest of these, oh no, I have this Essence Out of the Swirl, uh, oh no, Out of Space in the shade Guardians of the Unicorn. It is a pink and blue duochrome polish. I love it. I love it so much. The rest of these are polish pickup. I have this blue one by Dreamland Nail Polish, or by Dreamland Polish Sherry Zircon. It's a blue holographic. I love holographic, I love glitter. Almost all of these are glittery, as you can tell, because those are my favorite. Then I have, this is by Fancy Gloss. It's in the shade Crystalline. It is the only thermal polish I own, and I can tell you that if I was down to my 20 and I was like ready to buy more, I would buy more thermal. This goes from this beautiful dark purpley pink to, to white, silvery white, and it like changes all day long based on the temperature of your nails and what you're doing, and I love it. It's like, it's like a whole light show in one. Big fan of that. Then I have this shade, which I didn't think I'd like that much. It's by Sassy Cat Lacquers. It's in the shade Clarity. You see that pink that it shines? It looks like that on your nails. And I love it. I know I already have like four pink polishes. I don't care, pink's my favorite color, and I love this one. And the last thing I would have is this Polish for Days polish, polish in the shade Opalescence. It's like an oil slick, it's beautiful. And it looks like that on the nails. So, that's my ideal makeup collection numbers. You know, looking at it, doing this exercise was really fun. I highly recommend you do this if you have like any kind of ideal in your mind. It was really fun because I was seeing what I had, you know, and really trying to like let myself have as much variation as possible. But it also shows me like how much extra stuff I have that I just don't need. I just don't. So it's really fun. I enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you found it interesting and kind of fun to see what would I have. If I could only keep my ideal numbers, what would I keep? And let's not forget I can buy a liquid liner. And that's always a good thing to know. 
um, yeah, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, or requests, suggestions, or comments, go ahead and leave those down below, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.